Hello viewers, welcome back. I thought we'd take a look tonight at Hope Hicks and uh, McGann and make sure they're going to be testifying. Oh, and here goes Artie mewing in the background. My uh, peonies I had in my vase withered up so I had to pull them out. My daisies stay fresh for about a week in the vase, but my peonies only last a couple of days usually. I don't usually cut too many of them to bring inside. They don't hold up very well. So let's look at Hope Hicks first. Hope Hicks, is she going to testify? Well, she's working with somebody. She's working with somebody on it. Let's see. Well, Hope Hicks showing up here as her connections to the White House, um, also a card of celebration, um, feels like because of her connection, her close connection to the White House, she's the focus. Um, her challenge, waiting on the harvest, so um, it can be about waiting for money. Uh, but I feel like it's more the seeds have been planted, trying to block her. Uh, she's, she's waiting for, uh, feels like a maybe a court ruling or something to force her to testify. At the root of this, all her traveling with Trump, you know, all of her conversations on uh, Air Force One and all her traveling, um, again, another travel card here, you know, this is having a plan in the past, having a plan and uh, charging into action with it, but it also can be a journey card. Um, so I feel like um, a lot of the conversations happen when she, when she was traveling with Trump. Uh, crowning the reading, you know, they're in battle trying to get her in to testify. Um, near future judgment coming down this feels like a court judgment coming down uh nancy pelosi and the dems um secrets coming out and a new beginning so yes and new communication new inspiration new plan um so i do feel like she will she will testify um, she's going to try and temper what she says, though. She's going to try and temper it, but it, um, she is offering up information. Um, hmm, stabbing in the back. Who could she be stabbing in the back? It's a big loss for the GOP, her testifying. Not being able to block her from testifying. Yeah, it burdens the GOP more, um, and it feels like it brings more court cases and more information out. Yeah, she's going to cooperate. She's going to cooperate um, here. You know, doing her due diligence uh, with investigators and in the in the courts coming down on her. So I do feel like. Um, she's going to wait until the courts tell her she has to testify. Let's take a sneak peek at what Hope Hicks has to say. A sneak preview, right? <laughs> Hope Hicks, what are you going to tell us about when you testify?
Ooh, she's got an abundance of, of emotions, abundance of information. Wow. Two aces. Interesting. Ace on the bottom and ace of wands. New beginning. Uh, she's trying to make a clean start. You know, interesting. She's trying to make a clean start. Um, her challenge is time's up. <laughs> you know, it's time for her to tell her story. Um, at the root of this, she's feeling very anxious because she's crowned by the devil. She's feeling very anxious about testifying. Um, again, that waiting on her harvest, waiting, waiting on the uh, subpoenas, waiting on the judges to rule. But what, what she's going to say in the near future... She's going to talk about overseas and their influence, um, how they affected um, the U.S. in the election. Um, she's going to retreat after testifying and try and hang on to her reputation, what's left of it. Um, she's, tr she's trying for a new beginning. So... Yeah, she's, uh, she's going to be victorious, successful in her testimony, but this is also about end of a cycle, beginning something new. Death card, big change, end of a cycle, beginning something new, too. Um, and trying to live her life of luxury here. So two, two ends to the cycle and beginning something new. She's going to try and... Um, feels like separate herself out from Trump. She knows, she knows money news. She knows who the emissaries are. Tower moment. For those who were involved in the money. She, she knows about the money for a long time. Like how far back it's been going on. So, um... She is trying to protect herself, and uh, but she's also trying to take her power back. So um, I do feel like she's trying to untangle herself from the devil. She's uh, trying to untangle herself from the Trump family um, and take her power back and um, just protect herself. Um, feels like she will be victorious at that if she tells the whole truth. She comes clean. All right, let's look at Don McGann. I've looked at him before. I've always felt he will testify. Let's see. Don McGann, will you be testifying? Will they get you in there? Don McGann, you're all over the Mueller report. Interesting, the money laundering card. Sharing money. Um, Everybody's waiting. 
<laughs> in the past. Everybody's waiting. So, Dom again has news, um, and again has some money news. So, it feels like he does know something about the money laundering. Um, interesting is his challenge is the celebrations right now at, at blocking him from testifying. There's going to be a big change to this, though. Big change. There's going to be an end to blocking him. Um, you know, over here in the past, he's just been waiting to testify. Um, he's got details about the money. He's He's got um, work details, written notes, all kinds of things. So it feels like he's coming with, with, um, with his notes, with his documents. Um, here we have the White House. Um, but it's also a card of celebration, getting him in to testify about the White House, um, secrets coming out, um, the GOP's involvement even, um, burdening the GOP, and uh, even information about overseas. So, yeah, it does feel like he's got some information maybe we haven't heard about involving money laundering. You know, here's here's Trump, the smug merchant, Nancy Pelosi, and I feel like William Barr on the emperor here. Uh, Barr putting up the block with him. Nancy sitting right in the middle. Yeah, there's going to be new beginnings, and it's going to happen rather quickly. So he, he's going to be um, put through the courts now that uh, Jerry Nadler can go to the courts and get them to rule. This is going to this is going to happen pretty quickly, and he'll be in talking. So. Yes, McGann is still going to talk. Let's just check in, check in real quick while I'm doing readings on testifying. Let's just see Mr. Mueller. I've always felt him testifying in front of the house. Look at the cat fur. <laughs> Lucy's been on the table again. Mr. Mueller. Will you be testifying to Congress? And while I'm shuffling, um, Yvonne Davis had a great uh, video the other day um, on the astrology of what's going on this summer, uh, June, July, with uh, Trump. Well worth the watch if you guys uh, like the astrology um, reports. I watch several different astrologers, and Yvonne Davis and uh, Denise Siegel also always spot on. Denise had a, a new video about a week ago that was really interesting. So, Robert Mueller, are you testifying? Yeah, he's the messenger. He's going to be testifying. Yep, he's going to offer it up on a silver platter. Everybody's just waiting. Yeah, it's interesting. He's going to offer it up on a silver platter. Knight of Cups. His challenge is times up. His times ups for Trump. He want he he wants Trump out as much as the rest of us. Um, he's just sitting down here waiting at the root of things because of Trump. Um, feels like uh, feels like they you know they may end up having to subpoena him to get it get him in or talk to him to get him to come in and explain to him. Look, we need you on record going through this even though your work stands for itself we need you on record um his work does stand for itself 
but since so many of the Republicans aren't reading it, they need him on record, and that's what I'm feeling. So um, winning at all costs, they're going to get him in there no matter what. Um, sharing information, but uh, also the money laundering card. Um, you know, Mueller always felt to me, every time I've read on him in the past, he always felt like he was waiting on information about the money. Information like from Deutsche Bank and the Bank of Cyprus and all those banks. Um, so I'm wondering if he's going to be testifying around the same time the money laundering starts getting figured out and the, the money records start um, getting into the Congress. Um, Mueller's going to be talking a lot about what happened overseas um, with the family money too. Um, so yeah, he's got a lot of suspicions uh, about what's gone on and a lot of, a lot of documentation um, involving Trump and the oligarchs and the money um, and money laundering. So even though we haven't seen a lot of that um, in the Mueller report, it feels like, uh, yeah, he's the sort of truth uh, bringing out the betrayal to our country. Um, and it's also heartbreaking for, um, for Robert Mueller, what he's done, what Trump's done to our uh, country. Feels like uh, Mueller testifying, you know, this, this can be about a bond, an agreement made, but it feels like he brings the two sides together. Um, so more Mueller testifying would get more Republicans to flip and be pro um Impeachment, yeah, strengthen his testimony and celebration. So others besides Amash will start flipping after Mueller testifies. Um, I'm just going to ask my pendulum real quick. Will Mueller testify uh, by August? Because knowing Congress is going on break, will he testify by August? That's a yes. Will Mueller testify by June in the House? That's a yes. So potentially he could testify before they go on break. Um, so let's hope for that, right? And get this ball rolling. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please click like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. And of course, by the way, you can email me. Um, my email address is on all the uh, videos to inquire about personal readings. Um, I'm about a week behind at least. I'm so sorry on my emails uh, due to my computer outage. I'm trying to get caught up and get you guys scheduled. So we're about to get back on a roll with that. So bear with me. I, I you know, I'm not ignoring your emails. I just haven't gotten to yours yet if I haven't answered you yet. Thanks for watching. Bye.